right. What do we do? So the modulus, <laughs> by adding a negative, which is the same as minusing a positive. Third rules, square root of 2 times square root of 6. Spoilers. <laughs> what do we do with the fraction? You have to get the same. Very good. Oh. Times the bottom and the top by two. See what I did? <laughs> Jacob. What's this equal to? Two square three. Okay, and now I just taught you how to do this, how do we convert it to Cartesian? Square root 3 cos pi over 2 plus i. Uh, oh my goodness. I apologize if they look strange. Yeah. What what is cos pi over two? Zero. How does it go the other way It's alright, I'm kinda of testing stuff you haven't learned in yeah. that. Because it's infinity. <laughs> uh, okay, this one's very, very easy. We have a cubed number. So what do we do, Hayden? What do we do with the modulus? Uh, you multiply it out with multiple, its magnitude. So you put it in brackets. Multiply it out with If we are cubing the complex number, what do we do with the modulus? You cube it. Very good. What do we do with the theta, Freya? Huh? Oh, I know. Show. So you put three and then times the five. Three times theta. So 3 times 5, Freya? Wrong, <laughs> 16. Okay. Oh, this is using the guy's theorem, isn't it? Oh, that makes sense. Good sir, 2 times 3 is not 8. So this is the third Demoivus thing, yeah. even though I don't think it's Demoivus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> It's like the De Moivre 2.0. And all the guys like, oh, here's this dead guy's work. Let's upgrade. Not even upgrade. Just, just add a little bit to it. Yeah, double the top. Why can't we do All right, what happens every 2 pi? So, how can we rewrite this? We minus what from 15? There we go, 3 pi. That's what I was looking for. And I just told you, what's cos half up pi over 2? 0. What's sine pi over 2? 1. So the answer in polar is? 12. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Mr. Kevin, I understand. That's why we could have used the graph. Because sine pi over 2 is just 90. And when cos 93 is at 0, we're just converting to the second. It doesn't ask you to convert it. I was just testing your theory. So you stop there. Oh, actually, we'll change it to. You stop there. If it asks you to convert it, 
to what's this for? Cartesian, then you'd convert it to Cartesian. So we stopped at the Like I said, the radian stuff, you'll practice in methods. I thought they would have started it, but yeah. Good work, Jay. Okay, so R is 1 plus 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. Square root 2. And then the argument is 10, negative 1, which is negative 1 over 1. What's... Do you know the special triangle? If we go across 1 and down negative 1. Special triangle. 45. Does that make sense? Okay, so now we have a complex number, which is square root 2, says negative pi over 4. We are going to put it to the negative 4. Oh, foil. I was like, I was like, no, we're not doing foil. That's too complicated. <laughs> what if this was 14? What if this was 14? Are you going to foil that? <laughs> Seven hours later. <laughs> so we do the modulus to the power. And theta times the power. Or you could just foil with that. This is this is completely correct for this one question. Just for this one. If we do foil, it won't work with other questions, but it's nice for this one. I'm like, it feels was. Oh no, if it if it went into the side, it would still be one. Does I want it in polar? Okay, so we did it.